Well, hello there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode on Atlas. So we're taking a look today at Energy or NRG. Today's date is January 1st, 2020. The time is 3.50 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Taking a look very briefly at the coin market cap, we see that it is listed at $2.15 with a 6.76% change. We'll be coming back to this in just a little bit, but first, we have to answer the question, what is energy or NRG? Head over to energy.world, which I will be including a link in the description down below, as always. So if you wish to go do more research on this, which I highly encourage you to do so, you're able to do so. According to their website, though, how they describe energy is as the following. How energy sets itself apart. The majority of cryptocurrencies today have a system of mining in place, which rewards those running their graphic cards or CPUs or specialized mining hardware. This functions as inflation or could even be seen as a type of quote unquote tax on the cryptocurrency. Bitcoin alone is quote unquote burning over $5 billion a year on mining. We see Bitcoin's massive mining reward as an overkill and believe Bitcoin could be about as secure with only a fraction of that mining reward as seen by Bitcoin having great network security with no corresponding problems even when the market cap and mining reward was one tenth as it is now. If Bitcoin had a system in place similar to energy, Bitcoin would currently have billions of dollars worth per year to allocate to development and growth. This is an enormous missed value, a gap which energy seeks to fill. Combining this with governance and smart contract capabilities is what we see as major features of the most powerful cryptocurrencies of the future. Energy has evolved from proof of work to proof of stake and is designed with high staking rewards to encourage security and growth. The bulk of the coin emission, though, is afforded to the treasury and master nodes. Master nodes administer governance, security, instant transactions, and private transactions over the network, while the treasury provides essential funding for all energy services in perpetuity. It's important to understand the power of energy's combination of features while accompanied with strong vision. Our treasury will support thousands of developers leading the way with cutting edge development while also funding thousands of marketing and business development specialists to expand user awareness and build merchant adoption worldwide. Energy will eventually even help clear regulatory paths to enable deep integration in countries all around the world. To get a better picture of where we are going, check our roadmap. Okay, so we head back over to the coin market cap side. They also have a little bit of a description on this, which I'll go ahead and read for you guys. Launched in April 2018, Energy describes itself as a proof of stake cryptocurrency featuring decentralized governance, masternodes, and a treasury that funds a team of professionals. With a smart contract platform upgrade slated for Q4 2019, Energy 3.0 will leverage existing dApps written for Ethereum. Energy also purportedly features a defense team of cybersecurity and investigative professionals that work with law enforcement to protect their user base from hackers and scammers. In the coming years, Energy seeks to retain thousands of full-time paid contributors and function as a global organization. So you take a look at the chart here, we can see the price action movement of Bitcoin being in gold, that of energy in green, we're trying to see if there's a correlation between the two of them. And as we can see, there's a peak up here in November 2018, pulled up a little bit here, December 7th, another peak going up in March 2019, as it climbed on up here into around the June period, which is around the time when Bitcoin hit roughly $14,000, trailed down, came back up and then it had a good steady flow. So there seems to be quite a bit of moments of uh, correlation between the two of them. All time low on September 19th, 2018 at approximately 24 cents or 0.244958 United States dollars. All time high following the year after on June 25th, 2019 at $9.90. Market rank as of the time of this video is number 73 on the list. Energy's return on investment at 711 0.16%. Market capitalization valued at almost $52 million, just underneath that. Volume in the last 24 hours, over $500,000. And a circulating supply of 24,194,064 energy. As far as the exchanges that are working with this, we can see that there are eight listed here. Keep in mind, sources and pairs typically intermingle with one another. So we have for sources, Digifinix, KuCoin, Mercatox, BitBNS, BitThumb Global, and Biaxi. So that is the brief overview of energy. 
Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are down in the comments below. Do you think this has a promising future? Do you think this is going to fall flat on its face? Do you have any other opinions, anything else that maybe seems like it's worse than energy or better than energy? If you enjoyed the video, be really appreciated if you hit the like button. Definitely helps us out. As well as if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We are covering a lot of different cryptocurrencies on this channel, as well as doing a series of tutorial and glossary type videos, um, as well as trying to cover major news event, this, events that are occurring with both Bitcoin and in the cryptocurrency space. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and I will see you guys later.